Hi, this is Toa Cards on Nets, and I will be opening up a booster box from Ikoria, Lair of the Behemoth. So let's have a look and see what we pull today. Um, some exciting stuff in this set, obviously a lot of powerful cards. So hoping this will be a fantastic box with some, box with some interesting things. Um, and then potentially also at the end, you also get a box topper that can be uh, opened at the end. Um, and then see what we get inside it. So move this to the side and then see how we go. Um, when all these that gets pulled today, we'll go straight onto our Total Cars website, uh, totalcars.net. You can also follow us through our social media. So let's, um, let's get cracking on. Okay, so just go straight to, there's some really nice cards in this set. The art is gorgeous. And uh, again, oh, that's kind of nice. So we also got the new uh, art, like kind of like the showcase of art. Um, so Mythos of the Snapbacks, uh, two and two white. Sorcery, each player has to choose an artifact or artifact, create a creature and enchantment and a planeswalk from among the non-land permanents they control to sacrifice the rest. If Obviously, Rakdos was spent to cast a spell. You choose a permanent for each player instead. Interesting card, I like it. Okay, that's the rare we got. Obviously, it comes with these lands, with the, um, the life line lands. And obviously, you get your token um, inside it there. So, um, yeah. Um, Please comment on some of the things that you are looking forward to uh, see in this set. Um, obviously, the, the power level has been uh, shifted up, and also there are some really interesting sort of combinations you can make out of this deck, out of these decks, and also some really interesting things going on. Yeah. So we have uh, one of our alternate art ones here, uh, Cavern Whisperer. Really nice art. I really love the art in this particular on this particular set. Obviously, themed around the, the Godzilla. And uh, and obviously the monsters there, so which is pretty cool. I like that. Put that aside there. So we've got uncommons, and we also got then our ruinous ultimatum. So two white, three three white, two red, and one and two black. Destroy non-land permanent your opponent's control. Um, that's a really nice card there. We also got the one. I've got our wind scarred crag, and also. We have the token. You get these tokens in every other pack um, to help you obviously go with the set. Okay, so I'm just going straight to the rare. Okay, so we've got Bonders Enclave, just a land, big taps for one, colorless, and then pay three, draw a card. Activate this ability only if you control a creature with power four or greater. It's a fantastic in sort of you're gonna have big creatures anyway in the, in, the, in the standard or in Pioneer, uh, but also you can use this in Commander. So if you want that sort of extra draw engine, really good with uh, colors that are not very strong in Commander. So it just gives you that little bit more, um, a little bit more on the advantage. So that's your rare there. Uh, just put all the lands together and also the tokens together there. Okay. Again, nice to see some of the, vid the, uh, the video to introduce the set. It was actually quite exciting video. Hopefully, you all watched it on the uh, on the announcement on the announcement date. Uh, obviously, if you haven't um, haven't seen the video, I suggest you watching it. Watch it because obviously um, it gives you sort of that sort of feel good sort of vibe from it. So we also got our uh, extinction event just here. Choose odd and even. Exile each creature with convert mana cost of the chosen value. Even is even uh, zero is even. Um, it's three on one black, it's a sorcery. So that's a nice little one-sided board wipe if you need to, especially against certain decks that kind of run uh, maybe a particular type of uh, build. Okay. Okay, so we go for this one here. Straight to the rare. Oh, we got the Ketria. Yeah, Ketria uh, Triome. So it's the land, uh, it's the, one of the uh, tri-lands that is in this set, which has this cycling ability, 
really nice, really good for like all sort of, um, sort of formats that use uh, three colors because you can cycle it if you like towards mid late game when you don't really need any more lands, you can use this to kind of draw a card instead. Um, so it's a land forest island mountain, which is fantastic to see this because it allows you to then, um, especially in a, a game of commander, you can fetch these really easily with certain spells. Um, and that's a really good little uh, card there, actually. Obviously, if you've seen the uh, other video with the, um, the collector's booster, you should be able to see uh, some of the nice sort of alternate art, sort of showcase art that you can you can get with the uh, with the uh, collector's boosters. Okay, nice. So we've got the ne ne uh, Necropanther. See, again, I love the art. Really interesting, kind of pops out, almost 3D like straight up the card. Um, ooh, we've got one of our rares, which is uh, one of our showcase ones. So, uh, Everquail Phoenix is the two and two red. It's a, a creature Phoenix that has mutate for four. Flying, whenever this creature mutates, create a red artifact token named Feather. With one, sacrifice Feather, return to Phoenix card from the graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Quite interesting card. So a bit of a workaround, but you'll be able to do this. Maybe a, a mono red sort of um, flyer or, or sort of, you know, the Phoenix deck that sort of kind of was around for a few years. Maybe it's back. You never know. You might be able to use it. So I'm going to purchase here. Okay, and you also get the uh, these sort of cards here that replaces the tokens. So I'll put that just there. Hope you also have the chance to... Uh, get used to the cards before the release. So obviously it came out on the arena quite early. So hopefully you'll be able to, to, to know most of these, how these cards work before you get them um, physically. So we've got Crystalline Giant, three, uh, three colors, Artifact Creature Giant, it's our rare. At the beginning of our combat of our turn, choose a kind of counter from at random that Crystalline Giant does not, doesn't have on it from among flying, first strike, death touch, Hexproof, Life Lake Menace, Reach, Trample, Vigilance, and one one uh, plus one plus one. Put a count on on that kind of that kind on Crystalline Giant. Really nice card, actually. It could be a potential sort of a decent card in a, in standard at the moment. Um, obviously, it gives you that sort of, especially if you're not using like a more of an artifact or sort of centric deck, um, you should be able to sort out to the look. Go straight to the rare. Nice. Oh, okay. We have one of our companion cards. So it's um, if you can see that, you can see that. I love the art of that. Um, Gigantha, the Wellspring. I think it did well there. Four and, and uh, hybrid red green. Um, it's a legendary creature, elemental elk. So it has companion. No card in your starting deck has more than one of the same mana symbol and its mana cost. Really interesting card. I like this. You can also tap this for a woo bird. This mana deck can't be spent to generate mana costs. Interesting. I like that. Okay. It's a very interesting card. Something you can use, like somehow sort of build around, especially in like maybe a commander setting. I'm not sure in a standard, but it'd be interesting to see how that could potentially uh, come up, uh, be used. Oh, okay. We got one of our mythics. Fantastic. Um, we have our Kinan. Kinan. Yeah, Bonded Prodigy. It's a Simic, one blue and one green. Fantastic creature. Um, really interesting how cheap it is for what it does. And I'm just going to read it out now. Um, Legendary creature, human druid. Whenever you tap a non-land permanent from mana, add one mana of any type that permanent produced. So it just gives you that sort of mana sort of boost really early in the game. Obviously, uh, these are the colors that always do that. And it can combine really well with certain cards as well. And it's good. Um, and it allows you to add one mana of any type of that the permanent producer is just double mana all the way through, or just more. Um, you can pay five in, and obviously Simic, look at the top five cards of your library. You may put a non-human creature card from among them to battlefield, put the rest in the bottom of the library in any order. That's our first mythic. Okay. So just put that just there, put that just there. 
Ooh, interesting card being used uh, in humans. Obviously got the Bonders Enclave again. Okay. I like how some of these cards are so, it's, it's such a colorful uh, set. Uh, oh, we got one of our uh, Trilands. So we got Zar, uh, Zar Goth. Um, try them, look at the art, gorgeous. Um, Swamp Forest Island, tap to either one, um, not black, green, blue. Um, enter the battle, tap, and got the cycling ability as well. Fantastic, good to see that. Um, we also got a foil, we also got our Huntmaster Liger. Interesting card, um, obviously if you wanna make that sort of cat's death, uh, it's a really decent card for that. Okay. Oh, never one. Okay, we're just getting our lands today. Um, triple land again. It's the Rugrin Trium. I love the art. Look at that. I love it. Um, it's Island Mountain Plains, and it's got obviously taps of blue, red, white. Comes in the battlefield, taps got the cycling land. Again, easy to fetch, easy to put on the battlefield. Or if you're towards it late, late game, you can re, uh, you can just draw a card. Fantastic. Okay. See, I like the also the new artifacts as well. Crowns in the chart. Oh, ooh, that's nice. Oh, wow. Okay, another mythic. Um, and it's also our stud extended art as well, and as well as like a, almost like a full art. And also, it's got that showcase sort of um, showcase art as well with this. Little, oh, I love it. Look at the drawings. Looks fantastic. We got Foul Druk, the aspect of thunder. It's uh, obviously Jeskai. It's a legendary creature, elemental dinosaur cat. What well, can you say more? Uh, it's got Mutate for one, um, hybrid white, blue, blue, red, red. It's got Flying First Strike. When this creature mutates, you make Hass Tiger non creatures card. The Converted Man costs three or less from your graveyard without paying its cost. Wow, just cheating on those three, three cost or less non creature cards from the graveyard. That's pretty cool. It's almost like a uh, Sun Titan effect, uh, but obviously in the Jess Sky colors. And it's got in that new art as well. It's gorgeous. We also got a foil, which is our Henfring Snare. Um, I hope you, uh, I hope you obviously, if you're not obviously subscribed to Total Cards, please uh, do so. Um, also, it, also, uh, also like us on our social media. It also keeps we keep you in touch with any restocks or any singles that we put on the website. Uh, you can also get these from our from our, our catalog. So you've got Titan's Rest, which is our one in Soul Tide enchantment. Begin your upkeep. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. That's pretty interesting. And exile a card from your graveyard. Spend. Add one colors, spend this mana only to cast a colored spell with that X in his mana cost. Very interesting. I like how it also gives you that sort of um, extra sort of conditions to go with it. Then it gives you that sort of, again, uh, rules create breed creativity. We also got a Haunted Nightmare. Interesting card. It's a. Um, Nightmare creature is a one and two black uh, menace. When it enters the battlefield, tiger opponent puts a death touch character on creature they control. Really interesting you can get this out when there's no creatures in the opponent's side of the field. It just means you get a really decent uh, attack attacker for the three mana that you pay. Fantastic card, really good. I really like that card. You, know, you can use it in like a, a Rakdos menace deck. Um, I've seen that going around, so I really love it. Okay, so we've got a Lava Break Venturer. Enter the battlefield, choose odd and even. Uh, Lava Break Adventurer has protection from each converted mana cost of the chosen value. Like it. Um, so, we're gonna move these, some of these out of the way. We've also got a foil. So we've got our Involving Wilds, and look at that art. It's gorgeous. And it's obviously, I like how the crystals shine, kind of gives it that sort of 3D, 3D effect. I love it. Okay. It's just kind of like art you can use in the deck, and it will give you sort of that sort of booming, which I like. 
Okay, straight to the rare. We have, oh, nice, good job. We got our next companion. So we have uh, Obosh, the uh, Prey Piercer. It's three and two rat, uh, rat, um, black red hybrid. It's a legendary creature, Helium Horror. Uh, starts with your deck contains only cards with odd convert mana cost and land cards. Obviously, it states. Um, it helps you sort of, it, it's interesting for, to see this uh, um, as a deck sort of build around. Um, if, you, if a source of con you control with odd convert mana cost would deal damage to permanent or player, it deals damage to that, that, um, that deals double that damage to that permanent or player instead. Interesting, I really like that. And it's got that sort of, I love the art in it, it's gorgeous. Okay, brilliant, you can see that. We also got our uh, foil, which is our Blitz Beach. Like it. So, so far, one, the two mythics, a bunch of rares, and a few show, uh, and then obviously these two, uh, one mythic, and that's all showcase art, which is quite nice. Oh, I like that, Majestic Unicorn. Interesting card. So, we got one of our, um, one of the cycling myth uh, rares. So I'll put this just away, here we go. So we've got this one here, this one is the Wandering Monster. Uh, five and two red, it's got Trample Haste, cycling to uh, one red. Uh, one red and one colors. When you cycle uh, Yadaro Wandering Monster, shuffle it into your library from your graveyard. If you cycled a card named Yadaro Wanderer, Wandering Monster, four or more times this game, put it onto the battlefield from your graveyard instead. It's an interesting sort of build around again. So potentially uh, you can get uh, an 8-8 eight -eight for the price of eight, which is pretty much the same, but obviously you have that sort of cycling, so you're, you're going through your deck um, quite fast. Okay, so we have, that's nice. Uh, we have our next companion. So we have our Kahira, the uh, Orphan Guard. I love it, again, the art is brilliant. Such imagination behind it. Um, so we've got companion, each creature card in your starting deck is a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur or beast. So you have to have them particular creatures in your deck, um, otherwise you can't use it as a companion. Uh, Vigilance, each other creature you control that's a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur or beast gets plus one plus one vigilance. Pretty nice sort of uh, like lord for them type of creatures. Obviously, it'd be interesting, you could potentially use this as a commander. I'm not too sure you, you probably could use it as part of a, a, um, a companion, but again, you never know. We can, again, restrictions sometimes breed creativity, as they say. Uh, we've got classification, um, far rare. So, Enchant Creature, it's a 5 and 2 green. Um, so Enchant Creature, when it enters the battlefield, tap Tiger Creature, Enchant Creature gets plus, a plus 20, plus 20. And again, the art's gorge. Um, fantastic card, and obviously you can use it in so, some sort of way to be able to cheat that into play attached to a creature. Um, I've seen this in one of the videos. Fantastic. Just gonna move some of these out the way. So just keeping these on the field. Okay. So, Let's take this token out. Let's take, again. Oh, we got a foil. Wow, okay, nice. We got Uriel and the Sky Nomad and we got it in a foil, brilliant. Um, it's a companion. It, obviously, if your starting deck contains at least 20 cards more than the minimum deck size, you can use this as your companion. Three and two hybrid, blue, white. Um, it's a legendary creature, bird serpent. And when he enters the battlefield, Exit any number of non-land permanents you can you own and and control. Re return those cards to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. Fantastic of being able to bring your stuff back to you, especially if people nick, um, t take control of your creatures, or with that um, one of the creatures that allow you to allows them to take cards from your graveyard or from your deck. You can then get them back with this creature. Interesting card. Really good pull. Fantastic to see that. Um, and let's go to our rare. Hopefully it's just as good. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got the Magistrate. Um, can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hand. Really interesting to see a little bit of stacks in Commander, a little bit of uh, protection, uh, protect, protecting yourself, especially in, the, in white. 
I like it. Okay, so that's the better. And again, I love the, uh, the color of these packs. Um, really nice. One of the things I, I love about Magic um, is the, the, the use of um, sort of giving their players the best, almost giving them the, the, the only, uh, the very best. Um, okay, so I've kind of mixed everything up. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we've got the, um, the Salvi, uh, Salvi. Um, again, comments uh, if you feel like I might have said this wrong. Um, it's the Triome, it's the one that is for Mardu. So it taps for a red, white, and black. It's got a it's mountain, plains, and swap. Again, easy to fetch out. Um, it enters about the taps, and you've got cycle three as well for that late game or mid game there. Quite interesting card. We also got the uh, foil planes. Again, look at that art, it's gorgeous. Um, good to see sort of like the effort that gets put into this art. Okay. Again, there are some good cards in this set. Great for a draft, I guess. Uh, myself, I'll be doing draft very soon in this set. I'll be interested to see how it works in the draft. So we got our rare, which is Song of Creation. Um, one Antima is enchantment. When you play in a land, you may play an additional land of each of your turns. And when you cast a spell, draw two cards. But has a little bit of a downside. At the beginning of your end step, discard your hand. So if your deck really works off your graveyard, then you can use this. Really good, kind of like storm off because you get that extra little land that helps you ramp. So you can cast those cards um, as often as you want. So we also have a foil. Is that foil? Yes. Nice to see this foil. I love it. So we've got, you can see it just at the end. It's kind of a, a little bit foiled at the bottom here. It's almost like the card. It's almost like it's not foiled at all. It's just at the, in the writing. So if I kind of show you here, interesting stuff. Yeah. So this is our Chittering Harvester as our foil in the foil slot. Mm. Interesting. Oh, yes. If you go back to this kind of quickly, you can see in the eyes, Interesting how they kind of like the kind of pixel and spots for the foiling for, for you to use, which is quite interesting. Okay, so put them aside, just go straight through to the rare. Oh, okay, we've got the Liger. I love the art though. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Okay, so we've got the Offspring of Revenge. Uh, it's the two in Mardu, interesting card in, in the enchantment at the beginning of the combat of your turn. It's our target red, white, or black creature from from card from your graveyard. Get a token that's a copy of that card, except it's a one one and gains hasty in turn. Really interesting combination you can do with this, especially in the commander setting, but also potentially in that sort of um, standard setting as well. It's really good in that sort of draft environment too. Hmm, interesting. Again, love the art. It's such a great set. It's such a great set. Like. Uh, there's the uh, alternate art there. Yeah, nice little showcase there one. Love it. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Chittering Harvester again. And we got... Oh, nice. Okay. So we have our mythic, Seville, the de uh, Bane of Monsters. It's a, it's a, it's a, um, a Golgari sort of colored card. It's a black and green legendary creature human robe. It has death touch which I think is interesting. So, uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, if your opponent's control, no permanents with bounty counter counters on them, a bounty counter on tire creature or planes walking opponent controls. Whenever a permanent opponent controls with a bounty counter dies, you gain free life and draw a card. So I think it's a very interesting thing you could potentially, if you make this as a commander deck, um, really interesting sort of build, you can potentially get those counters on different ways or just be able to, uh, you know, be able to get these creatures uh, killed uh, instantly. I think oh, that's a really nice card. Good job. Okay. It's out of the way. Fantastic. Okay. So we have our Sky Sat Cat, our Sky Cat Sovereign. Um, this is our red. So. 
It's uh, white and blue, uh, also colors. Uh, creature, elemental cat, flying. It gets plus one, plus one for each creature you control flying. So potentially you could use that with an older card from Veros, like, um, uh, what's it called, Dream Trawler. And you can use it as like, like a flyer's deck, which is interesting because it gets more stronger with each flyer. Pay four, uh, two and one, uh, one white and one blue. Create a white cat bird creature token flying. Interesting. That's a nice little, uh, sort of, um, and then we've got a foil card just here. So put that there. Uh, trumpeting now, interesting. Like it. Again, um, interesting to see some of the, like a new, uh, the new sort of new take, new take abilities that's come into the set. Please, uh, you know, mention uh, your view about new takes and how uh, how you feel about that. I think it's a fantastic sort of ability. I think they should use it more in the future. But obviously, uh, you also got the companion as well. So the companion cards. Uh, please comment. See, uh, give us your view of what you feel of the companion. So, oh nice! Look at that. Our next mythic. We have um, El Eluna, Apex of Wishes. Interesting card. Look at the art. It's gorgeous. It just kind of comes right out at you. Um, it's two and it's team mode colors as well. Um, legendary creature, beast, elemental, dinosaur. Love it. It's got mutate three, a uh, hybrid red, green, and two blue, flying trample. When this creature mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile non land permanent card. Put that card into the battlefield or into your hand. And it's a 6 6. So, typically, a really decent creature for both, like, like in the draft environment, in the commander environment. I think it would be a fantastic card to see um, get played. Um, really like it. Really good pull. That's fantastic, guys. Uh, good to see this again. You'll be able to you able to buy this um, on our website uh, soon. Uh, well, maybe before this video comes out or after the video. I'm not too sure, but you'll be able to buy this from TotalCards.net. Okay. So we got our next rare. This is our next ultimatum. We also got the Genesis ultimatum. It's uh, two green, two uh, three blue, and two red. I look at the top five cards of your library. You may uh, put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest in your hand. Exile Genesis Ultimatum. Very interesting. And look at the art. Gorgeous. And you know what? It's something I'll put in my uh, commander deck. I'm hoping to, uh, I bought myself one of the commander decks, um, the Teamer one. And also um, I'm hoping to build that up because I, I like the colors. I love the color, uh, I love the art, but also I love the power behind spell casting. Just kind of spell something and start the deck. Oh, we've got another uh, showcase art rare. Love it. Uh, C Dasher Octopus. It's one and two blue. Creature Octopus. It uh, has me take to for two. Flash. When a creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Very interesting to see a flash kind of switch between a Simic Flash to a Demir Flash sort of in our, in our meta. I quite like this. Um, this is quite interesting to see uh, be played um, in the future. Okay, we've got a few packs left now. Okay. Oh, we got the uh, Kahira again, the Orphan Guard. That's our rare. We also got a foil Zargoth Crystal. I love the art in this as well. Um, again, just kind of really shines out the crystals, just pop out right at you. Is the artifact is uh, taps for uh, either black, green, red, uh, black, green, red, black, green, blue. I'm thinking something different then. It's got cycling too as well. Fantastic card. I like it. Again, great include in your uh, in your deck, especially towards late mid game, late game when you need to start drawing cards, start moving things along. Just cycling is a very good, great ability. Again, message on the on, comments your view on cycling as well. Let's create that discussion. This our rare. We also have a mythos of Valdruk. Interesting card. There's obviously a cycle of mythoses throughout the uh, the set. Um, it's two and two red. Mythos deals five damage. Five damage you choose among number of target creatures and or planeswalkers. If uh, white blue was spent to cast a spell until the and to, until your next turn, those permanents can attack or block, and the activated abilities can be activated. It's great to sort of lock down people's decks. Especially in that sort of just guy colors, really good. Especially if when you don't play that many creatures in the deck, fantastic. Okay. 
We're getting there, guys. Let's move this out of the way and put these four, these four packs just here. Okay. So let's have a look. Ooh, nice. We got our slime, our ooze. Slime, ooze. Um, we have a Imori the Collector, two in hybrid green, two hybrid green black. Um, legendary creature ooze. It has our companion as well as one of the companion cards. Each non land card in the starting deck share the creature type. I've seen this a lot on the arena as well. It's fantastic to see this um, really being played um, because you can choose a card type, a creature, a card type, and spells that are chosen type cost one less to cast. So interesting card to play, especially to build, uh, build a deck around. I think uh, it'd be quite interesting to see decks that come from this. Good job. Okay. And we also got our uh, foil, which is our solid footing. Again, we love the whole uh, companion sort of aspect of this game. Again, just comment. Uh, let us know of your opinions of the abilities. So again, I love the, uh, the artifacts just there. So we've got our uh, showcase one. We've got the in Insensational Wall Hammerphage. And then we got our Eerie Ultimatum. I like this card too. Uh, it's two white, two, uh, three black, I think two. Three black and two green. Return any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's two ultimatums that straight up bring things from your graveyard to the battlefield. Very interesting to see this. Mm. It costs a lot, but you can in certain in certain formats, you can be able to you will be able to do it. Okay, so we also got the Fond uh, Frondland Felidar as our um, rare. So it's two in white and white and green and white. It's our creature cat beast that has vigilance. Creatures you control with vigilance have tap one tap tiger creature. This is very interesting with the it combines with the cat. Uh, companion, um, if I remember rightly, it's the Kahira, and uh, really interesting combination between the two because she also gives creatures vigilance, uh, allows it so you can be able to tap uh, them in the, the opponent's step and then also be able to attack the previous turn. Interesting, really good card. And that's our foil, which is the Mask Coat um, Goryak. Pretty good, pretty good. I think we did pretty well. Like, obviously, there's a few cards which are worth like loads as in value, but we may be able to pull it. Okay, good job, man! Wow, we got Winota, Join the Voices. Really powerful card. Really good in value as well, and also um, good job, man. Um, so, legendary creature, human warrior. It's two and white and uh, well, red and white. Whenever a non-human creature you control attacks. Look at the top six cards of your library. You may put a human creature card from among them onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. It gains indestructible to the end of the turn. Put the rest of the cards at the bottom of your library in any order. So this is really interesting because I've seen combinations with this with, with such creatures like Krenko or the Goblin decks. Really interesting to have it in there just to kind of tack and get as many uh, non-human creatures to just stack up your board with a bunch of humans as well. A uh, very interesting card. Good job, man. You'll be able to buy this soon enough. This is our last pack, and then we're going to our top our uh, our box topper. Okay. Wow. Just as I was saying it. Wow. Okay. So the Dream Tell. That's our showcase one. I like this art. We got another one. We got the Glad Glowstone Recluse. I guess what they do is kind of replace certain cards with the with the uh, with the um, Certain slots with like different showcase cards. I really like it. And this here, we got the Z uh, Z Zeda. Uh, the Dawn Waker is a great. It's got one and hybrid, two hybrid red, white. So it's a legendary creature, Nonifal Fox. It's got a companion. Each permanent card in your starting deck has an activate ability. Interesting sort of build around again. Um, as I said, restriction uh, boots creativity. Fantastic. At, uh, at abilities you activate. Abilities you activate that aren't mana abilities cost two less to cast. Hmm. This effect can reduce the mana in that 
cost to less than one mana. Hmm, interesting. And you obviously got one tap it, target creature can't block this turn. Really nice, and I love the art in this. It's like sort of, if you like sort of the animals like this, brilliant. And now it. and then we got our, uh, unfortunately we didn't put set, nor uh, Ghidorah, or the creature that Ghidorah is. Anyways, so this, hopefully you've been waiting to this very moment. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Um, and let's open this up. So now we've got to figure out the best way to open it. Here we go. Hope uh, you'll be able to find a good pull ready. We have ooh, Godzilla Primeval Champion. So it's a um, 7 to green. It's from the Tanner Moth Rex. Interesting. Um, obviously, this is the, uh, the name of this card, but it also it represents this card here. So the creature dinosaur beast got trampled, cycling for two. When the cycle, when you cycle, tighten off, tighten off, Rex, Rex put a trample counter on target creature you control. And it's an 11 11, and look at that art. Gorgeous. And it's in foil as well. Can you see the back on his, on his back? Really nice. Okay, thank you very much. And um, keep an eye on our website, Total Cards, and you'll see, when you see these, you'll be able to buy them from us. Um, thank you very much for watching and please like our video and also subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Thank you. Bye.